Hey guys and welcome back to another review and today we'll be doing a unboxing video of the Class 3F. So this one is by Backman. Scale is 176 aka 00 gauge and then you have the Backman website down below. Then you just got the Backman uh, address and postcode there in the website. And then this side we have the information part. So the product code for this model is 31 dash 627 B so Bravo class 3F 3520 LMS black 21 pin DCC ready and then coming to the back we have the normal brief history so the basis for the Class 3F060 steam locomotive was the Class 2F designed by Samuel Johnson, Chief Mechanical Engineer of the Midland Railway in the late 19th century. His successor and former pupil Richard Dealey instigated a process of rebuilding the 2Fs replacing cabs and installing larger boilers the resulting products were the first class 3f locomotives which were subsequently joined by the new build 3f's during 1903 to 1908 the 3f's were a series of goods engines with a stalwart reputation reputation for reliability details varied a little from engine to engine in contrast to the model's successors in production the class 4f's the most significant variation was in the size of the wheels Locomotives numbered up to 3189, later BR43189, had wheels of 411 diameter, whereas those numbered beyond up to 43833 had 53 wheels. At times little credited in histories, the engines were much beloved of those who worked with or on them being consistent in their performance and comfortable to ride. Though designated for freight duties, the three Fs were no strangers to some passenger work. Vacuum brakes were fitted in addition to steam heating equipment in certain engines. 43586, a Bradford Manningham engine was distinctive by being unique in receiving lined out splashers and saw use on the last day of services on the Worth Valley Line, which now constitutes to the Keeley and Worth Valley Railway today. In June 1962, although the class saw nearly 50 years of use across the British, Railway, British Railways network, with around 400 surviving into BR ownership, not one example was preserved, the last one being scrapped in 1964. So there are no 3Fs in preservation. And that's a bit upsetting because they are really, really nice engines. Maybe one day they'll build a 3F from scratch like they're doing with these like Tornado and stuff like that. So hopefully they build one from scratch. Because it would be really nice to actually see one of these running again. So 
let's get her out of let's take the sleeve off and the first glimpse you get her in the block of ice she looks absolutely exquisite so i'm just going to move this to one side let's get her out of the box so just go place it to one side so what do we get inside here so we got a little derails card this was tested by mf i think that's daniel's brother so that's very nice indeed uh, we get a little kind of diagram sheet and exploded diagram on the back it's very very nice what else do we have in here we have a warranty service request product maintenance and care product warranty and join us at the backman collectors club so the normal gumph that you get so I'm just going to take her out. So you get a little kind of blanking plate in the detail pack. Um, I'm guessing that's something for like the speakers, DCC speakers or something. And you get some couplings in there um, and some pipes. What's well, very, very nice indeed. So let's get her out of the, well, out of the her protective casing. This one's a pain to handle. <laughs> Absolute pain to handle. Just because it's a tender engine and nowadays they've got wires for connectors on the, um, the tender to help with continuity. Um, so it can be a little bit of a pain um, to pick up sometimes. <laughs> Just because you've got to try lift both at the same time. Can be a bit of pain sometimes, especially with the coronation classes. The princess coronation classes. Oh yes. If you have one of them, you you will know my pain. And that will be reviews coming up, so look look forward for that, the princess coronation class. So if we just move the camera closer, get the light. The light is a bit better where I've got my lamp today. So here we have her in her full glory. This absolute beautiful kind of LMS smoke black livery with the yellow and red um, numbered and lettering transfers there. It really just pops like the whole LMS pops at you off that pure black, like smoke black livery absolutely exquisite model this um got this um lovely um separately fitted black handrail that goes all the way down the boiler to the firebox and onto the smoke box um you got these beautiful yellow and red uh, transfers on the model you have a little builder's plate right there. What is very, very nice. Absolutely loads of rivets on this model as well, as you guys can see. You do have under frame detail of sanders and brakes. going to do this review a little bit different from normal we're going to do the whole engine first then we're going to talk about the tender so coming around to the front of the model we have a nem coupling and sprung buffers more riveting more separately fit handrails and lamp brackets what's very nice you have a number you have the loco number and its shed number there shed plate that's very very nice come around to this side the model we have uh, some pipe work what's well, very very nice there and i'm think i think that little black box um over here is a lubricator i think i could be wrong if i'm wrong please correct me down in the comments 
um, you got your reverser and what not, what is very, very nice. You have the open cab as well. You can see all the cab detail inside. What's very, very nice. I do like the open cab to this. So coming to the top of the model, you have your chimney, your two safety valves and your whistle. And then you got the dome there as well. Coming to the tender, oh, we've got this absolutely lovely LMS uh, lettering. We got axle box detail and under frame detail there. Uh, you got some separately fitted, uh, um, not separately fitted, sorry, molding uh, kind of coal railings there to hold the coal in. Um, you got the handbrake detail on the inside kind of the inside of the tender there where the coal is and the uh, uh, the toolbox there with the little handrail on top uh, I have added my uh, my mix of realistic coal what is basically real coal crushed up um, my best mate Daniel does it for me um, crushes it up and that's normally what I get for Christmas is some crushed up coal <laughs> you got your water tank there on the back you got some more riveting work um, coming towards the back you got your shed plate um, builders plate and is that a tops I believe LMS oh no it's like an LMS badge thing I got a bit concerned then. I was like, is that a tops list on a 3F? So we got sprung buffers on the back as well and the NEM coupling. So let's get her on the track and see how she runs. So I'm just going to place you guys, bring you guys over here. It's a bit dark. I need to move my lamp. There we go. That's better. Okay. So I'm just going to bring the camera up over here. For some reason, my lamp's just got darker. It is getting very dark. It has been a very, very dull day in England today. Very, very dull indeed. So I'm just trying to connect the tender up onto its pin because it's come undone. I'll just quickly get her on the layout. So this is the layout, uh, this is the circuit for the Coca-Cola train by Hornby. Um, kept it up just to do some reviews as my layout is under construction, um, as wiring construction goes. So there she is, just get the light in the right position. It is very, 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 very dull in here. Um, so let's see how she runs so I am using a Hornby cheap controller so she might not run as well as a gauge master as my twin gauge master controller but she just runs so smoothly and so slowly as well absolutely astonishing so let's just get her running around Quickly, uh, get a quick. Forgot to get a little freight train ready. It's meant to do that before we started. So I thought it'd be appropriate that we have a LMS engine to have some LMS rolling stock behind it. So I've got a little LMS three plank train coming up, and a. Uh, LMS brake van, make it kind of all LMS themed. So I'm just going to back her up to connect onto her freight train. Try and do this rather quickly. And here she comes. Take over the 
tripod now, I think. So here she comes with a lovely LMS. Really sorry about the, uh, the lighting, guys. It is terrible. That's a better shot. Oh, look at that. Just looks absolutely astonishing. As you guys can see, it's still on Jenga bricks. She's very, very quiet as well, as you guys can see. There you guys have it. There is the review on the Backman Class 3F in LMS Black Livery. Hope you guys have enjoyed this review. Please like, subscribe and comment down below. As I've said in previous videos, we are trying to get the channel to 100 subscribers. If we do, I'll do a 100 subscriber special where I'll run, I will run through a whole prep of a class of eight. So you'll see me do the whole prep work. Um, and then if we get to 1,000 subscribers, we will then do a... Um, a whole... I will show everyone how to drive a class away. So go and hit that subscribe button and recommend channels to your friends, um, club members, whatnot. Let's get this channel to a thousand subscribers um, and let's get these special, um, these two special. Um, videos going because I really really would like to do them so if we reach a hundred and a thousand then I will so let's smash that subscribe button um, thank you guys for watching and uh, watching my videos and we'll see you in the next one